Lately, I saw a video from John Liebenthal. John is a guitar player from New York City. And uh, a long time he was the guitar player from Marcon. He was on tour with him and he played on the uh, famous record uh, where the song uh, Walking in Memphis is on. The famous record from the 90s from Marcon. Everybody knows it, Walking in Memphis. And um, I always liked his guitar sound and um, his playing also. And I um, saw this video here because he has a new solo album, but it's a great album. You have to listen to it. It's called Rumble Strip, and he played a song here live with an acoustic guitar from this album. So listen to this. So what I really like about his playing here is the, the composition, of course. It's really a beautiful composition and you have to listen to his album. There are so much beautiful compositions there. But um, I was wondering what uh, what sound uh, he he gets here by um, this acoustic guitar. Uh, and I, um, when you look uh, to the video and um, you, you can see an amplifier standing also here and the guitar has a magnetic pickup. So he, um, he uses the microphone and the magnetic pickup uh, while playing. And he's mixing the amplifier sound to the microphone sound, so it sounds really fat. The nice, uh, transparent acoustic guitar sound, the, the, the signal from the microphone mixed with the amplifier. And that's uh, a thing I really like here. And uh, I try to, to get his sound somehow with my old Gibson guitar. And um, yeah, listen to what I've got here. Okay, that's what I uh, got with my guitar here. But um, as you can hear, you, it's, it's not this fat sound with the amplifier uh, uh, on the, the microphone sound. So I tried to get this sound with another guitar where I have a, a magnetic pickup in there. And uh, so you can hear it in, this, in a few seconds. At the end of the video, I have a, a transcription of another song from John Liebenthal. It's a, it's a really beautiful song. I transcribed uh, a few weeks ago. So if you like to um, check his playing and the tuning, it's the same tuning he plays there. It's very interesting to get some voicings and some chords uh, from, from the style he is playing here. There's also a nice video uh, on the channel of Vertex Effects where he is talking very much about uh, old stuff he was playing. So check this video. I, I put the link down in the description. And um, it's really, really cool what he's um, doing here because he, play, he plays some old stuff and... Uh, there was a moment where he uh, took a phone and uh, called Mark Hohn to ask him ask him about some things here in the in the recording or uh, about the recording of uh, Walking in Memphis. I think it's really interesting because back then I didn't I didn't have any money I didn't have that many guitars so I was sort of uh, I was I had uh, I was improvising in mm. a lot of ways to mm. try to get sounds. What you can see here, uh, he has. Um, uh, Gefell UMT-70, the microphone down here. 
It's, uh, I think the microphone, he's recording most of his guitar stuff and uh, that's a really good microphone. You can hear it, I think, all over his uh, solo album. Um, it's a UMT-70. There's another one by uh, Neumann, I think. There's a um, uh, similar microphone. But I think this is a Gefell. Another really interesting video here at the True Town Lounge or True Tone Lounge where he was talking about his effects and um, he was playing also his guitar with a magnetic pickup, a Collings guitar, mic'd up with this microphone uh, you can see here. Um, and you can see his effects and what he's doing uh, with his effects is also really interesting. On that, the, this tune called Jail's Hymn Number 2. I even put a little Leslie in there too, like a classic Leslie guitar thing, just underneath it, just to give it a little texture. One of the nice things about this setup is that it, it gives you the power to kind of compete with an electric guitar player and have and have presence. Yeah, on stage, for sure, yeah. yeah. And so I assume that was necessary when you were playing with Ry Cooter and such. There were dates where you were playing with uh, Rosie yeah. and Rye. Yeah, I think so. A little bit. I think it gave it a little vibe. I think he was intrigued for a second, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it has a sound. Yeah, like what I say, I guess it's, uh, dare I say it's my sound, you know? It's like, uh, it's something that I've gotten comfortable with, and it's like something where I feel like I actually have a voice. Let's say as opposed to me going and recording some, even if I could do it competently and well, uh, like some great hot, like country, you know, telly, you know, string bending, chicken picking stuff, or whatever. Yeah, this feels more like who I'm supposed to be. He was talking about his Leslie he puts under his acoustic guitar sound. So it's it's um, always a little bit, um, yeah, sweetly kind of moving sound underneath the acoustic guitar. So that's the trick, I think, here. And that has one of these pickups on it. And I use that a lot in the studio. It just has a vibe. It has a character. I'm not trying to sound like a great acoustic guitar. I mean, I like great acoustic guitar sounds, but I'm not invested in replicating that somehow. So it's not as guitar dependent as you would think. It's nice to have a nice acoustic guitar sometimes, but not all the times, particularly in tracks. It's not, I'm just looking for a good sound, inspiring sound, you know, that works and feels musical to me. Yeah, that's the thing. And, um, that's what he's doing on his new album, Rubber Strip. Check it out. It's a really beautiful album. I love it. It's nice compositions, nice instrumental music. And he's also singing. So, but here you can hear what I got with my guitar. I tried to copy his sound a little bit. And it's, uh, it's really fun uh, uh, what, what I got here. I didn't put the Lethny in here like he was doing. He, he adds some Lethny sometimes to his amplifier sound and mix, makes it stiff with the acoustic guitar microphone, but um, I had some spring reverb from this uh, dream here, and uh, I liked it too, so uh, let's check out what I got here. I used this guitar from Lakewood. It's a very good guitar, one of my favorite guitars. But it's not really a very old guitar. It uh, has a very um, round sound, but uh, very much high. So John is using guitars with no high frequencies, I think. It's very um, dead sounding stuff. But in combination with the pickup, you can get some really good results uh, for this guitar. Uh, when you mix it uh, with the right volume, the, the magnetic pickup and the, the microphone you put in, or maybe the piezo pickup, 
then you get a really nice sound and I like it. So this is what you can hear in the video. Okay, here you can see the two channels I recorded. It's um, the acoustic guitar with a microphone. So this is the microphone channel here. It's a Neumann 103 TLM microphone. A very good middle class microphone for recording acoustic guitars or vocals or everything. And uh, this is the sound here. But now I recorded the magnetic pickup too. So this sounds like this here. Okay, it's a very, um, I would say, uh, thin sound. It's an amplifier sound, and I recorded the pickup with this thing here. It's a Fender amp simulation from Universal Audio, the Dream. Maybe you know this stuff. It's very good for um, recording when you are, um, I don't know, on tour or something, or maybe you don't have an amplifier. You can use this, and it sounds really cool. Okay, and in the production, I did this to the amp sound. I cut some bass and some high frequencies here, some high mids, and I put in a compressor, the LA-2A, everybody knows it, and also a track spacer. So the track spacer filters out the frequencies um, that are um, sidechained from the other channels. So all the frequencies, um, that are coming too much from the acoustic guitar microphone are filtered out in this channel. So I, I don't have so much work finding the frequencies that are uh, some, somehow doubled or too much. So this gets uh, filtered automatically. Nice uh, little plugin that I really love. And um, when you see the acoustic guitar microphone, I did this to the microphone, a little bass cut here, and another cut at 385 normal stuff you do, and a compressor. And uh, the thing is, um, when you play it in combination, you have this sound. Yeah, and it's a nice sound, I think, and um, it's a little bit better uh, when you mix those two channels together because you have those nice mids from the amplifier and a little uh, the, the reverb, the spring reverb from the amplifier and the microphone. And somehow I like the sound here. Okay, I found my second pickup, my Ella Bex pickup. I knew I had somewhere an Ella Bex pickup uh, for acoustic guitars. And I put it into my old Gibson guitar, and this is what I have now. So this is my Gibson, and this is the Ella Bex pickup. And I played it through a Camper amp, and um, I mic'd it with my Neumann microphone. So this is what I have now. <laughs>
found it. I really love that nice microphone, the expansive microphone sound mixed with a magnetic pickup and that the dirt of the amplifier and the, the Leslie or the tremolo sound mixed with the microphone. So um, yeah, maybe you found something for yourself too. So thank you very much for watching. And um, if you like the channel, please subscribe and come back. Um, now you get this uh, bonus I told you from. This is the, um, the transcription I made from a video here from John Leventhal. The same tuning and uh, yeah, a little bit the same sound, but not with the magnetic pickup, only with a microphone, but a really nice composition here. So see you next time and thank you very much. See you.